Welcome to Essential Cycling. So anyone that's into cycling or is a road cyclist knows that in the past year or two, rim brake bikes have been discontinued. Disc brake bikes, the standard on road, mountain, just about the entire industry is just going all disc all the time. But a lot of people probably still have some rim brake bikes and rim brakes are fine if you have them. They, they work just fine. They've worked forever. They've worked fine for such a long time. I don't think there's any need to just run out there and go ahead and grab a disc brake bike just because they're not making rim brake bikes anymore. The majority of people that have a rim brake bike, the bike's going to be perfectly fine for them for years to come. So here we just have a couple of options for if you want to upgrade your rim brakes to get a stronger braking and just the nicer feel where it's just going to be a bit easier to grab the brakes with your hands and you're going to, not going to be dealing with as much friction. So we'll start with the cheapest. Here we have the Tektro R, what is this, R539. I got these on Amazon. The set was $60. I put them on my Wabi Classic. They are pretty good. And the reason I got these was because I was trying to find a pair of brakes that can fit 32 millimeter tires. As you can see, they got pretty good tire clearance. But as you see, saw in my video about 32 millimeter tires in the Wabi, the top of the tire just about touches. And, you know, that's, that's the cons of a rim brake bike, that you can't run wide tires. So these, I think, pretty good. $30 each for, for the caliper, 60 bucks for the pair. Pretty decent. These are... A little over 100 bucks. These are SRAM Force brakes. Rave reviews, but I'm not really too fond of them. I tried them. It's, there's a lot of friction. They're very hard to compress, like very hard to grab the lever. Um, and I really didn't see a lot of improvements over any of their brakes. And these are the brakes that I've been using in my Wabi for quite a long time. And these are the Ultegra R8000 rim brakes. Very, very, very easy. Great leverage. The easiest rim brakes I've ever squeezed before. It takes little to no effort to just engage them. And I think that's because you could see you have these, there's two pivot points right there. I'm pretty sure these are called dual pivot brakes. These are really easy to grab. These, uh, quite a bit harder to grab, but not terrible. These things, very, very hard. Uh, my honest opinion is I wouldn't even deal with the SRAM Force rim brakes. I mean, I know people have had great experience with them, but you're gonna spend that type of money, a pair of rim brake calipers, just go with the Ultegra. Maybe you can get better tire clearance side to side, but you still can't fit more than 28 millimeter wide tire anyway. So you're gonna spend that money, go with the Ultegra brakes, put on a pair of Salmon Cool Stop pads like I got right there, the red ones, and you'll be good to go. These, pretty much, I'm not impressed with these. I would either go between these two, the regular single pivot style, the Tektros, if you're on a tight budget or if it's a lockup bike and you don't want to put a lot of money into it because it's always at risk of being stolen or vandalized. But if it's a good bike, if it's a, you know, you ride it a lot and you really want to get better modulation, then absolutely these, these rim brakes are great. All right, so I wanted to kind of try to do something to show you guys how much easier it is to pull these brakes than it is to engage these other brakes. So the only thing I can find is I have a rubber band right here, and I think what we're going to do, so we're going to pull the rubber band and see, okay, there we go. So the rubber band is, let's see, so that's how much force you need. See so the rubber band stretches to about there, what do we call that, like two or three inches? I'm not too sure. So just remember that. Now let's do the same test with the, let's jump to the SRAM force brakes, the brake pad and let's see how much force is, is required. Whoa. Look at that. That's a lot more force. So the other one was coming up to here on my thumb. This one is coming all the way over there. Jeez. Okay, actually it's almost coming over to my wrist right here. All right, let's try the Tektros. and it broke the rubber band. You guys get the picture. This one, much easier. Super, super easy. This one's very tough to squeeze. That spring is a very strong spring and it's gonna retract really easily, but it's gonna give you a lot of hand fatigue if you're on the brakes coming down a mountain or if you're constantly in stop and go traffic and you have to grab the brakes like crazy. So this rubber band test didn't really work out too well, but you guys got to see how much easier the Ultegra dual pivot brakes were. I would say if you're gonna can keep your rim brake bike, obviously it's gonna be a road bike anyway. If you wanna upgrade the brakes, 
then and you're on a tight budget, then get the Tektros and then just put some cool stop salmon pads on there for wet weather. That should be give you plenty of stopping power. But if you really want to spend over $100 on a pair of rim brakes, brake calipers, and give your bike, just make the braking feel so much better, then definitely go with the Ultegra rim brakes. They're dual pivot. I'm pretty sure 105 is dual pivot as well. But I'm telling you guys, when I first put these on my Wabi Classic, I felt like I wasn't using the brakes as much. And that's because when I squeezed the brakes, I would squeeze them a little bit and they'd engage. It was like, boom, boom. Whereas with the old brakes I had on the Wabi, I was spending so much time grabbing and fighting that friction of the brake caliper that I had to really squeeze really hard before the brake pads would even make contact with the rim. Not the case with these. It's literally just like one finger braking, boom. It's right there, boom, boom. Super easy, so highly recommend the Ultegra rim brakes if you could afford it. If not, something like the Tektro R539 is gonna get the job done pretty well, especially if you put a nice brake pad in there, like the salmon pads, the red ones I have on here, you should be good to go. In conclusion, if you're on a budget and you don't wanna spend more than $60 on a pair of rim brake calipers, then I would say go with something like the Tektro R539. I put the front one, I put one of these on my bike already and it's not much of a difference between these and the Ultegra dual pivot brakes. So I think for $60, it's a pretty decent, pretty decent stopping power. You can also change the pads out there. If you wanna spend over a hundred bucks, I would just go straight to the Ultegra rim brakes. I think 105s also have the dual pivot, but I think that the difference is only like $10 or so. I don't think it's a huge difference. I just got the Ultegra because I think it's just probably a little bit lighter and the gray is nice. SRAM Force, I wanted to like these, but I just wasn't really that impressed. It was very, very hard to squeeze the levers, and I just was like, you know what, it's, it wasn't worth it to me. And these are the stock Wabi rim brakes that came. They're pretty good, but they don't really retract that well anymore. I'm not sure what happened to them. I guess I was just riding the bike too much, and I was using them too much, or riding in the cold and not taking care of them. They're pretty much shot. They have a lot of friction in these brake calipers, so these are pretty much useless. So these are the two brake calipers I'd recommend, the Tektros and the, and the Shimano Ultegras. I think either one of these, you're going to be great. You want that nice, luxurious feel, spend your money on the Ultegra. If you just want something that's good for your beater bike, you don't want to dump a lot of money into it, you want good value, get the Tektros with the Salmon Cool Stop Pads. So guys, hope I helped. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the road.